Now the Logitech G29 Driving Force Racing Wheel is basically a wheel designed for the new current generation console. Specifically the G29 is made for the PlayStation 4 and the G920 is made for the Xbox One. Now of course both wheels are compatible with the PC. Now at this point I've spent a decent amount of time with the Logitech G29 and I'm here to share my experiences, the good and the bad. So if you guys are interested in getting a new steering wheel for your PlayStation 4, or Xbox One or PC, we're gonna see if the new Logitech steering wheels are worth owning. Now essentially what the G29 is, is a combination of the Logitech Driving Force GT that was specifically designed on the PlayStation platform and the very popular G27 Force Feedback Steering Wheel. Now in a lot of ways, this is basically more or less a G27 design for the PlayStation 4. And as you can see from its button layout, it's specifically themed around the PlayStation platform. You actually have uh, 13 uh, buttons in total, including a 24 selection switch dial with an enter button at the uh, center of it as well as all your playstation money as you would expect including the share options and playstation buttons you can control the entire console using the steering wheel you don't have to use your playstation controller in order to basically get into your game or do anything on your console furthermore this wheel is of course fully compatible with the pc and using logitech's uh, driver software you can map and program each of the buttons to your heart's content which is great if you want to manually uh, map out a game that might not be optimized for the G29 and G920's design at launch but thankfully since it is a PC you can fully program all the buttons in order to make things as compatible as possible with as many racing platforms on the PC. Now moving forward let's talk about the design of this new steering wheel. Now basically it's using the same base as we found on the older G27 but it definitely has a nicer sportier look to the rim itself. You also have hand stitch a leather wrap that's all around the steering wheel providing plenty of grip. The spoke of the wheel is made out of anodized aluminum so not only does it look great but it should be fairly durable over a long period of time. There's also a metallic blue steering orientation strip which is a nice visual aid to make sure your steering wheel is pointing in the right direction. Additionally if you are mounting this to an existing a gaming rig that you use for your G27 or other steering wheels this has plenty of mounting options so you shouldn't have any issues in securing it between any kind of tabletop. Additionally if if you're going to adapt this to your existing racing simulation rig you shouldn't have any issues if that rig work with the g27 now let's talk about the pedals themselves each of these pedals are basically weighted equally to what a real car should feel like with a manual transmission so basically on the right side you have an accelerator you have a heavy brake which is weighted pretty naturally it also is dampened which is an upgrade from the g27 which didn't have that dampening so you have a lot more progressive feel and it's going to be a little bit more quieter than the brake pedal we found on the G27 and of course the clutch on the very left hand side which also has kind of a medium spring towards it so it's right in between the tension point of the brake and the accelerator. Another cool thing about the pedals is that the bottom portion you do have some spikes so if you're going to put this on some carpet it will prevent it from moving backwards because that's a big issue that I found myself uh, coming across quite a bit especially if you don't have a proper racing simulation rig. Now the one unfortunate thing about when you get the G29 is that it does not come with the six speed manual transmission a stick shift. You pretty much have to get that as another $50 option unlike the older generation G27 which had that included. Now, virtually, it's pretty much identical in terms of the performance of the G27 Sifter. It just sucks how you have to purchase it separately, especially for at this price point. Now, moving forward internally, the G27 has 900 degrees of range of motion, so it's pretty good in terms of that. You have a dual force feedback motors, and the strength of it, I would describe as moderately intense. It's very similar to the ones found in the G27, and you play a racing title such as Project Cars, which is fully optimized for this hardware, you get a a lot of information through the force feedback system in terms of tire feel the weight of the steering becomes heavier as you're going and traveling at faster speeds you get a sense of understeering and oversteering you even get feedback of the type of terrain you're going over whether that's kind of smooth tarmac rough tarmac dirt roads etc and what i found really impressive is the fact that each a different vehicle exhibits a different type of steering response and feedback which was really cool so for example if you're driving an old 70s 
era touring cars such as the BMW CSL, you're going to find that the steering wheel is going to be a lot more harder and a lot heavier than a modern day touring car, which has a little bit better power steering. Furthermore, I know that the G27 can demonstrate all of these similar attributes because it's got very much the same uh, internal architectures. I do have to say that the internal response of those motors is slightly faster in terms of response time, uh, not by a huge margin, but I could feel that the game felt a little bit more connected to the G29 compared to the G27. Now this steering wheel is gear driven and specifically using helicut gears with an anti-backlash gearing design so it's supposed to be pretty quiet and it, it does exhibit a little bit less noise compared to the G27 but again not by a huge margin. You're still going to encounter that kind of clanking noise every once in a while once you hit a bump in the road or crash into a sidewall. Now another interesting feature about this new steering wheel is that they're using Hall effect sensors instead of the optical sensors found in most traditional steering wheels. So with that you should find some minor improvements in terms of positional tracking as well as reliability over a long term period of use because it's a sealed design unlike an optical uh, sensor which is more susceptible to dust and wear and tear over a long period of use. Now in terms of compatibility, the G29 works with the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, and the PC. The uh, G920 works with the Xbox One and the PC. Now I didn't really spend a lot of time using the steering wheel with the PlayStation 3, but essentially all of the latest Gran Turismo games work without a hitch because they support the G27 platform. And I really had no major issues there. Of course, older titles are always going to be a little bit sketchy because this is really designed for the uh, current generation of consoles and the PC. Now, in terms of the PlayStation 4 platform, basically two games are fully optimized for this hardware, and that is uh, Drive Club and Project Cars. On the PC side, there's not a lot of games that are natively have a preset for the G29 except Project Cars, but it's really no big deal. You can easily just manually map all the controls yourself and uh, manually adjust all the different uh, steering parameters and pedal parameters to your heart's desire, especially if you play any of the Codemaster titles, whether that be the Rally lineup, the F1 series, or the grid series. Now in summary I would have to say that the Logitech G29 driving force steering wheel doesn't really exhibit a lot of disadvantages in my opinion. The only kind of uh, issues that I have with it is the price point, the fact that it doesn't have the uh, shifter knob included into the price and uh, the fact of the compatibility issues especially when you're taking a look at the uh, small list of games that are optimized natively for the G29. Now on the PC side it's not that big of a deal at all. You can easily map all the controls manually but of course Course, it won't work as nicely as it does with project cars that has native g29 support but again i think most developers in the future that are making racing games are going to definitely support these new steering wheels from logitech that's really a no-brainer there and when it comes to using the g29 on the playstation 4 it's a really a great solution that's very nicely integrated and again pretty much all of the new racing games will have support for this so really that's really not a big non-issue when it comes down to the price point when you start comparing comparing it to the G27, which we have done. So definitely check out that video on the channel. We'll also have a link in the description down below if you're kind of undecided between the two. But the, right now there's about a $200 difference. Now keep in mind that the G27 is like six years old now. So that's depreciation for you right there. And uh, when the G27 originally came out, it was around the same price as the G29. So uh, don't be surprised of the price point that Logitech is currently offering. But again, you have to keep in mind that in in terms of native PlayStation support and native Xbox One support, Logitech has uh, pretty much a lot of people beat at this point. And if you want a really great driving experience on the current generation consoles, there's not a lot of steering wheels out there besides the Thrustmaster series that can really compete with what, what Logitech is doing right now. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this review, helped you out in any way. Definitely want to give Logitech a big thanks for giving us the opportunity to review the G29 without them this video wouldn't be possible and what I want to hear from you guys is do you want a comparison between the Thrustmaster uh, 300 and the G29 because those uh, seem to be the current generation uh, steering wheels that most people are interested in and so but if you guys want that comparison definitely let me know and I'll see what I can do but for this video that's really it thank you so much for watching we'll see you later take care